Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my February favourites. It's kind of my January and February favourites because I haven't done one of these videos before. I just wanted to share with you guys kind of what my favourite things have been this season and if any of you guys relate, if you've got kind of similar purchases or similar things that you've been watching or reading or playing, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all of your guys' favourite things from January, February and winter. So yeah, let's get right into it. So my first favourite from February, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> is the Lazy Oaf Teddy Bear Bag in the pink shade. I bought this the first time around, I don't remember when that was. I think it might have been before Christmas or in January, I can't remember, but they very recently re-released it and then sold out again. But this is like my favourite bag. Here it is. <laughs> it's actually full of stuff right now. Like, I use this every single day, so it's really grubby. I don't know if you can tell how dirty it's gotten. <laughs> Especially like on the bottom, it's starting to like gather dirt and pill and all sorts. So this has been very well loved. And this is just the perfect bag for winter that I've ever owned in my entire life. I have the black Vans version of this bag, which is um, the canvas material, but as you can see, this is like fleece. And it has these adorable little bear ears. Mine's a bit wonky, I think, my bag. One of his ears is like further down the zip than the other ear, but I think that makes him quirky. <laughs> basically been using this all winter. It's enough for like my keys, my purse, my other purse, another purse, an umbrella, my uni pass, my card holder, all my keys, my other keys, lipstick, little mini mirror, all my makeup, all my extra bits. I can even fit my Nintendo Switch in here, in a case. Barely, but I can do it. So yeah, speaking of Switch, another February favourite. So. My second favourite from January, February is my Nintendo Switch! Ta da! And I have the Pokemon edition with the little Pikachu and Eevee. I'm sure all of you have guessed by now that. I love Pokemon. <laughs> so this edition of the Switch originally came out in November of 2018 and I was going to buy it like on the release day and then I ended up having to pay for furniture and water bills and adult things that people flats need to pay for. <laughs> and then for Christmas I was going to ask for it from my parents. They still get me Christmas presents because I'm an only child and I'm spoiled like that. But then I ended up needing a a new chameleon viv instead and I had to do the adult thing so I did the adult thing again and I did the most responsible buying once again did not get my switch because I was a responsible adult and then it got to January and me and my boyfriend and adult he basically got some money from his uncle for Christmas and he lent me that money to buy the switch so I could pay him back when I got the money in January because I was so scared that it would sell out because I wanted the one that came with the Eevee game not the Pikachu game and it came with these adorable little thumb my bobs. So I put the Eevee thumb my bob on the Pikachu side and I put the Pikachu thumb my bob on the Eevee side and they are just so cute, so cute. And I was terrified to even take this out of the dock the whole time that we had it. So we bought it in January and I was like, no, we're not porting this around like a DS. This is staying in the dock, in the TV, until I get a screen protector. I'm very protective of my Pokemon collectibles. My favourite games for January and February have been Let's Go Eevee, Zelda, Smash Ultimate, top three, very good. And my boyfriend's been playing Mario Odyssey, which looks sick, but I'm just really bad at Mario games. I'm awful, I'm awful at them, can't do it, can't do it. So another February favourite is actually this camera right here. 
that I'm filming on and all the lenses that I've got. I actually had a camera already. I had the Canon 550D and I've had that since I was in year 10 or year 11. So quite a few years, maybe like six or seven years. And it didn't have a flippy out screen. So when I was wanting to do YouTube and trying to film on that camera, it all just went very wrong. <laughs> so I thought, it's been seven years, I can upgrade. I can get a new body <laughs> and a couple new lenses and I'm sure it'll be okay. So I got my first Nifty 50, highly recommend. Very good, very good. Nifty 50 is a 50 millimeter lens if you're not aware. So it's not a zoom lens, it's just 50 millimeters. That's it, that's the range. But it's got beautiful aperture, very, very beautiful, which is how I get all my fuzzy backgrounds. But the one I film on is 35 millimeters. The aperture's usually set to two and that's the that's the young Nuo I think that's how you pronounce it because the Canon 35mm is expensive it's expensive and I can't afford it um, so I have the young Nuo one and it's beautiful it's great it's great quality still just as good recommend very good over January and February it has been really cold especially in our flat our flat is quite old we don't keep the heating on a lot because we try to save as much money on bills as we can so this whole winter I've been wearing fluffy pajamas with a dressing gown over the top with a giant knitted cardigan over the top that my nan made me with another dressing gown over the top followed by two blankets and an electric blanket and I've still been cold <laughs> so with the freezing cold winter and our freezing cold student flat with no heating and my a billion blanket layers I have had hot chocolate and this is the Wittard what is it it's strawberry Alice's strawberry white hot chocolate so they have like a little Alice in Wonderland themed collection they've had it for white a few years now like several years I love white chocolate I love white hot chocolate and this strawberry one is incredible it's so sweet and sweet things are my favorite things and you just top it with marshmallows maybe some like white chocolate flakes and it is the most beautiful thing you will ever taste it has kept me so warm this winter it has saved my life from the cold winds it has been amazing and I love it I love it and it has saved my life and it kind of matches me today it's a bit pink it's just got this really cute Alice embossing and this beautiful little watercolor print with that kind of ink work it's just beautiful and the taste is amazing the taste is just best hot chocolate I really like Wittard's stuff it's not my favorite for teas I love a lot of their hot chocolate range they have some beautiful flavors the thing with their hot chocolates is they're very sweet I think which is why I I really like them because I just love everything sweet. There are other tea brands that I prefer but the hot chocolates, they are my favourite. They are amazing. Highly recommend you try them out. I think at the moment they've got like a blue, a blueberry muffin hot chocolate. And I've tasted it and it's lovely. It's so good. It's really nice. But yeah, Wittard? Or is it Wittard? Wittard? Wittard. I don't know. I'm English and it says Chelsea. I live in London but I don't. I wasn't born here. I don't know how to say fancy words. Wittard. With heart, with heart, what with with heard doesn't sound like a word anymore. So another thing or group of things kind of that I bought in January and have been wearing a lot in February is the Lazy Oaf Esther Loves Oaf collection. It's the second one. I did buy a load of stuff from the original. That's a whole other story. But I love Esther. Esther Loves You is her whole brand. She does a lot of collaborations with WC in Japan, Chu in Japan, lots of Japanese brands. She's very inspired by Japan. So my favourite item, you probably saw me wearing this in my first video. This jumper, this big knitted jumper from the collection. It's two tones, so it's pink on the back and purple on the front and it's got this gorgeous little bunny embroidered on the like chest here and it's got this big roll neck it's really hard to get it to roll when you're just holding it and not wearing it 
Okay, like that kind of thing. Like like I said, my flat has been really cold and I just needed I needed to jump. <laughs> I needed some warmth. <laughs> and this is just so soft. I can never believe how soft the knits are. I remember first trying this on in the lazy of changing room and I was like had to buy it. It kind of reminds me of the old Lazio pastel jumper. I don't think it's as long and the sleeves are... The sleeves are very wide. They're quite bell shaped. Like they get wider at the wrist than at the shoulder. And I have got a little bit of frayn on mine because I've just been wearing it so much. But I can, I can just trim that off myself. It's not like it's coming apart. It's just where it's sewn it has a little bit of extra bits coming out so it's not like it's frayed it's more like just been wearing it the whole thing just needs a rest and yeah i really enjoyed the rest of the collection as well but like i said esther is probably one of my favorite collaborations that lazy oaf has ever done but yeah that whole esther collection beautiful stuff they still have a couple of bits available i think and lots of other kind of cute pastel youtubers have done great videos on them I I can link those down below so you can kind of see more of the collection that other people have gotten and try-ons and stuff like that. So yeah, I love that jumper. I love the Esther collection. He's just my favourite. I love it. I love it. I love it. So another favourite for February is a recent favourite because it was just released and that is the series Umbrella Academy. So I watched this with my boyfriend. I'm a really big fan of My Chemical Romance and Jared Way but I never actually read his graphic comics. I knew that he kind of left to go and pursue that career that he really wanted to do and I thought that was awesome. I was like, you go Jared, you go do your dream. I feel like artists always have an appreciation for other artists going out and making a successful life out of doing the art that they love. So I literally had no idea about the premise of the show. Even my boyfriend was surprised. He was like, you love Jared Way and My Chemical Romance. Why don't you know anything about this? And I was just like, just never really looked into it. Don't know what it's about. I didn't even watch the trailer of Umbrella Academy because I hadn't been on Netflix when it kind of got uploaded on there. So my boyfriend just kind of put it on and was like, right, we're watching this. And I was like, cool. Yeah. And the first thing was that I was really surprised that it was actually live action and not like animated like a comic. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was going to be like that. So I'm a bit stupid. But for anyone who doesn't know and hasn't watched it yet, it's basically about seven children that were born all on the same day, kind of magically. Their mothers weren't pregnant or anything and it just happened. And then they have like special powers basically. And the story just kind of surrounds those seven children growing up and the kind of fucked up experiences that they have living like that. They have the actor who plays Nathan in Misfit, which is probably the best typecasting I've ever seen because he's playing kind of the same character. I think the show has that kind of similar vibe to Misfits where it's having superpowers but very realistic about how that would work in real life and the kind of ways that it would affect children and adults growing up with those powers. It's just very realistic in terms of the ways that it could affect mental health and relationships and stuff like that. So it's quite gritty like that but it does have a lot of humour in it as well. And I'm not really big on like scary stuff, gore and things that have frightened me <laughs> but this one was really good. I highly recommend the show. If you haven't seen it just binge watch the whole thing. It has some really touching characters and moments and then some some moments where you're just like, what the f***? If you haven't seen it, binge watch it. It's really good. It's not only just a favourite of what I've watched in February, but like of all time. It's really, really great. Highly recommend it. Five stars. Five stars from me. <laughs> so yeah, my last February favourite is something that has been featured in another video. <laughs> and it is these feelers that were in my recent purchases video that I got from Depop. I actually managed to clean the mud out, but now they're just dirty from me walking around but I got all the mud out. I used a screwdriver. I was like tapping them out and like getting a screwdriver in there but yeah now they're not dirty from mud they just have general wear because I've been wearing them basically every day since the video that I filmed and like I said in that video I've had a pair similar to these before. Um, the only difference is basically that the pink on these is more pink than my last pair. My last pair are more peachy pink whereas these are more of like a true baby pink. Actually I think I've got them here. So 
These are my old pair, the size 3, and these are the new pair. These have been very well worn, so they are a bit dirty. But basically, these kind of have more of a peachy pink and the colours are all kind of in the opposite places so it has like the peach inside, the peach laces. These did come with white laces as well. And then on the backs it has the peach tag and logo on the outside whereas this one the writing is just pink. And I do actually really like those old ones but the only issue is the sizing. So I really missed having white and pink feelers to wear. Last year I wore them all the time up until they eventually killed my feet I just couldn't stand wearing them anymore but the outfits I had were so good. I love feeler disruptors. I love them so much. The white ones just look so amazing with so many of my clothes. They basically match nearly my entire wardrobe. <laughs> I've really missed having shoes like that and like I said I've been wearing them every day for like the past week and they were my favourites before. I knew that I was gonna like them. Well I knew that I was gonna love them and I do still love them and I actually really like that they're more pink than peach now because I do have peach clothing but I have more pink so this colour goes a lot better with my wardrobe at the moment so that works really well for me. So despite my little mishap with the mud from my Depop buying, after cleaning all that up they are so beautiful so I'm just so happy to have these and be wearing them again and have amazing outfits because I'm wearing them again. So yeah, that's everything for my February favourites. I don't use a lot of like hair care stuff. My skincare routine has basically been the same for the past like two years. <laughs> and my makeup, I haven't bought much makeup recently, if any. I haven't bought any makeup recently, so unfortunately there weren't a lot of favourites to do with that sort of thing. But next month maybe, my next video will be a ASOS haul. I've just received a big pile of ASOS delivery stuff so look forward to that one that will be really soon. So yeah what were your February favourites or January winter <laughs> favourites in general? Please comment down below let me know. Have any of you seen Umbrella Academy? What do you think? No spoilers in the comments but tell me what you think of the show. <laughs> and that's it really. Thank you to everyone who's been watching and supporting me so far. Thank you to everyone that subscribed and if you haven't please subscribe I would really appreciate it so much it's so hard being a really really small youtuber with like no following because it's so hard to promote myself but if you enjoy the content and you're watching I love you so much <laughs> thank you for being here thank you for watching it's amazing and thank you I love you all I love you all so much have a great day goodbye